two, one, go. Okay, so this is Looted Mansion, uh, and I'm just going to be running the Ender Percent category. Um, the first thing you might see is that um, I switch down in the menu when I start the game, and that's because I want to hit a mansion. Um, pretty much, this game added a Game Plus file, um, which means that if you beat the game once, you will be able to play it again um, with some additional features. And this varies from each version of the game, such as if you use Japanese, NTSCU, or PAL. Um, for specifically the Japanese version, the only difference is that your power uh, on your vacuum is uh, 1.5 times stronger. So we use this for speedrunning um, to be able to suck up the ghost faster. You can also see it in the bottom right corner with the star. For Lotus Mansion specifically, uh, any percent is actually not the most ranked category. Um, people mostly run the Nota Bounce categories because the any percent category is kind of like, I guess a good comparison would be like 0 1 star and SM64 or maybe like OT 100 or any percent in the way that it's a very short category. It's a lot and a lot of gameplay and it's mostly just like doing very difficult glitches. Which can be fine to do for a marathon, and it's kind of fun to do like an Amer like maybe a new reset here and there. But actually doing attempts on it is very rough. So in every single room in area 1, I try and maneuver so that I can manipulate the ghosts to be next to each other. And that allows me to, for example, to get triples and doubles, um, which saves quite a lot of time, um, and it really stacks up. Um, I also do specific movement with my analog and sometimes C-stick to try and optimize sucking up ghosts. Um, you can either use the C stick or an analog stick to pull a ghost from the inverted direction of where he's going to kind of dra drain down their HP. Um, you can optimize analog stick better than C stick. Um, even if you optimize C stick perfectly, you'll always lose, um, most likely, a couple of frames on every suck up, which uh, in and and well, um, you really don't want to do. So I'll be using analog stick for area one. Uh, then I like doing uh, a specific C stick input, um, which hopefully um, maneuvers me to get a specific um, animation of the ghost going into my vacuum, um, which is a little bit faster. So right here in this room, um, I'm going to be holding the B button um, throughout most of it because this is a very laggy room and there's a lot of effect that causes lag and uh, you actually save, uh, actually almost noticeably, I think it's almost like you can, it can be up to one and a, like a half a second I think it is in this room, uh, just holding the B and then not vacuuming for too long because it actually does make a noticeable difference. So I try to think about that to optimize that room. 352. In this specific room, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's two different strats that we usually use, which is either getting the ball down and then activating that rocking horse and uh, then shooting him, or just activate it and shoot him. In general, it's a tiny bit faster if you do really optimally to shoot it um, after activating the horse. But um, doing it like so optimal that it actually saves time, uh, you have to do it pretty risky, which I wouldn't do in a marathon. So it's pretty much no difference. Uh, and this specific fight right here, which is called Chauncey, uh, which is the area one boss, um, the game is pretty much individual into four areas. And what the out-of-bounds glitch is, uh, is based on is clipping out-of-bounds uh, after beating the area on boss. Because the chest is placed against the wall. 
and you can kind of get pushed uh, with it if you get behind it before it spawns, which will allow you to um, pretty much do stuff very out of order. Um, but on this specific fight right here, um, I will try and do specific setups to grab these balls uh, when they're going down. Uh, normally, uh, what will happen is the balls will bounce all the way back, and when I hit this wall down here, they will bounce up, then you can grab them. But you can actually, on the first one, just grab it in midair. You also see that I let go on 51, and that's because uh, there's kind of a cap, so you really can't one cycle um, this boss. And he shoots another horse like this as an attack if you have under 50 HP. So you want to release him around that. On this one, you actually have to get hit, or it will hit, it needs, it needs to hit the back for you to be able to hit it. So I get hit, bonk it, which will um, make my invisibility frames longer and last for longer. Then I'll actually get hit by the ball and then immediately after pick it up. Oh, I'm already sidestep. Um, so right there, as you saw, uh, I went behind the chest before it spawned. And uh, you will kind of stand there in between the wall, but if you do specific animations, such as bonking, using the vacuum, uh, you can clip down in between floor 2 and 1. Um, one second. Ah, this is not gonna work. Uh, and when I'm out of bounds here, um, I can't do very much because I'm pretty locked down. Because I have the collision of, fl uh, of floor 2, but I have the textures and actors and enemies and stuff from floor 1 loaded. Um, so, because there's a wall there in floor 2, what I have to do is I get, have to get hit by a bat with a specific angle and positioning. Uh, which will allow me to get a skew. Then I'll get another skew. Get in this corner and fall down to the basement. Which is actually an end of the game. And have had to do the hardest glitch in the game. Which is the basement walk. Yes! Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, I failed at the last three uh, marathons. So... So I get another skew, and I go down into the corner of, um... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was so scared. I get into the corner of, um... In between Biff's room and the corridor. Uh, and with this specific, uh, Luigi posi uh, positioning, I'll be switch pa pausing the game, and I switch to standard. And I hold in between up and up right, and then I press A, and one frame later I have to press the, uh, first person camera. Um, because if I went up, I would just fall down into Biff's room, and if I hold, like, all upright, I would kind of go into another corridor, another room. So you have to do that specific angle to be able to clip and then, like, fall, so it'll just land out of bounds in the basement. Um, then out of bounds, how out of bounds work is, if there's no object under, uh, Luigi, he will infinitely fall, and, which would cause a soft lock, he can never move. And there's also a big trigger there for King Boo, uh, which pretty much says you have to get 40 boos to get here. Uh, and that reaches very far out of bounds. And what my goal is there is to walk in between the, the furthest of the floor and not hit the cutscene of the King Boo. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my, nice. Nice job. I'm gonna lose some time right here. I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. Damn. It's still sub 10. Which was my goal. Can you please? Bowser? Oh, wow. So, right there, what I'm trying to do is do a two cycle on King Boo. Um, pretty much, he has. You can drag an X amount uh, on him, and he does an X amount of cackles until he wants to go back into Bowser. And what I want to do is to minimize the cackles, I want to go around and just normally suck him up. And then when um, he gets fairly low down, I kind of want to do this thing I'm doing right now, which is called. Which is. Oh, which is. Um, called the boost trap, which uh, uses a R pumping while holding the L button. And um, 
that will cause him to stay in positioning, which will make it a lot easier. Uh, I was supposed to drop him at 200 HP there, so it didn't do that extra animation, but I was kind of explaining stuff. Ripped stuff down. Okay, time is coming up soon. And time. 24. I'm pretty happy about that. That run was actually probably like <laughs> close to where like where record with the safe strats. It would have probably been like at least top ten. Uh, I did screw up very poorly on the Bowser, but in general the area one was actually pretty good. It was sub six, I think, and also. Um, the only mistake out of bounds was the skews. Um, it's kind of rushed because you can't have them on a very short period of time to do the glitches. Uh, but there's nothing else in this run. Um, now, he's pretty much go through these cutscenes save and the game is beaten. So, I guess I'm switching over to the next game, which will be uh, Lego Meme Wars. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys are interested in this game, Wow. If you guys are any interested in this game, um, there is a pretty big community. Uh, you can go to the uh, speedrun.com slash LM. Uh, I would definitely recommend you guys probably going to some like GC Forever and the talking. Uh, the community is sadly pretty toxic and bad, but um, there's a couple of people that really helps out new runners, so you can find help there if you do a forum post. But yeah, I'm switching to uh, the next game now.